Welcome to today's unboxing of a memory upgrade for the legendary Apple Cube. So this Cube has already everything upgraded that can be upgraded. So we already got a 1.2 GHz PowerPC G4 upgrade card with 2 MB of level 3 cache and a total of 1 GB that is already quite a lot. But for compiling Linux binaries and testing them it's always nice to have a little bit more headroom for temporary memory file systems and such. And it also got a graphic card upgrade. So memory wise all the slots are already full and it maxes out at one and a half gigabyte of memory. But I ordered only one module to see if it's compatible before I have stock here of old vintage memory modules I will never use for anything else. So let's open it up and see how that goes. So, shut down. So the memory we got here is 512 megabyte. It's supposed to be Samsung modules. Some impressive 512 megabyte PC 133 SDRAM 133 megabytes. That's a little bit faster than the Cube supports, but it's supposed to be compatible. So, similar to the trash can Mac Pro currently, um, everything is at the bottom. It's a little bit uncomfortable to maybe first power supply. So, everything is at the bottom. A little bit uncomfortable. Just like the Mac Pro, not that upgrade friendly. I'm actually surprised that Apple made this experiment with, them, with this Mac Pro because they already have they already had the not so well selling Cube a decade ago or nearly two decades. So to open it, this handle is pressed in and then the whole compute node lifted out of this cube. So the precious cube. Here we have the ATI Radeon card, the memory. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also have an SSD upgrade there. So there is a parallel IDE to SATA bridge. Uh, in there and a Samsung Pro SSD or something and the airport and so yeah basically this this cube is maxed out as it can be and today we only want to change this memory module Oh, neck NEC. This is supposed to be Samsung. Is it Samsung? Somehow it does not look like Samsung. Hmm. Okay, anyway. So that's it. Unlike current MacBooks and iMacs, the Cube actually has serviceable memory. So let's put it back.
let's hope it still works. Okay, that looks already not so bad. Actually, I would use the cube even more, even this 15 years later, if it would have USB 2. Uh, USB 1 really is a little bit limited. And also Apple's decision was not to build in the audio, so you cannot just connect a headphone to that. From the two cubes we purchased, used after some years, um, both did not come with this original USB audio solution. And in, in retrospect now, the decision to build in a modem, I never used the modem, probably nearly nobody used the modem and um, so now I, I got a V90 modem or whatever it was but no audio built in it's a little bit annoying and yeah USB 2 would really be nice um, so 1.25 gigabyte SD RAM that is quite nice so because I had to take one 256 megabyte module out this is only an upgrade of 256 megabyte it's not so much now that I know it works I will probably order a second one I just did not want it to have outdated vintage stock here of old piece of crap memory modules lying around. And with another 512 megabyte uh, module, I guess it will be maxed out. It's of course not the world, but it's quite nice to have maxed out vintage machines. Okay, I hope that was interesting and to see you soon.